guys, you all know who it is. Red Hunya here with another Jurassic World figure review. I've been extremely excited that the new movie is almost here. It's almost a month away now. Oh, it's so good. I'm so good. No. Either way, I've been excited going out hunting down these figures again. Uh, and I must say, coming from you guys, uh, it's really nice to see new Jurassic Park merchandise in stores again. I feel like a little kid walking down these toy aisles trying to hunt down these figures. But uh, I went to Target after going to Toys R Us. Toys R Us only had two things on the shelf, so I figured instead of to looking at Toys R Us again, I would go look elsewhere. I've heard people say you can find Jurassic World stuff at Kmart. Walmart and all that stuff so I went to Target just to for laughs to see what Target would have and to my surprise they actually had a plethora of Jurassic World figures pretty much almost the entire line except the Bashers and Biter figures they were all sold out for some reason I think because they were the cheapest and people probably picked them up because hey everyone wants to get cheaper stuff over more expensive stuff but alright so this is just a quick overview of what I've got or so you guys know what to be expecting reviews here for soon. I will be reviewing the entire toy line that Hasbro does, but how much of the stuff I actually keep in my collection, we'll have to wait and see, since these are all fairly new. But as always, uh, I don't have the same nostalgic feeling towards these figures yet, being that they're so new, but I picked up Electronic Velociraptor Blue. It'll be a review for him soon. Also, I grabbed the Dimorphodon. Very nice looking pterosaur figure. And then also these two packs. The Indominus Rex versus the Gyrosphere. Excited because it comes with a human, even though I've heard really crappy things about the human figures that these come with. Come on, Hasbro, do something about the human figures. We need to have something for the dinosaurs to attack and eat, besides other dinosaurs. This set, which I thought was kind of cool, because it comes with another human figure, and a helicopter that the human figure can actually sit inside, so... Extremely cool. I was actually curious about that when I first... I was like, hmm, I wonder if that can actually go inside there, but it does. So, Pteranodon versus the helicopter. And what... It's getting the review spotlight today. This exclusive Target exclusive four pack Velociraptor Raptor Squad figures. So let's get some close ups here of the box for you guys. Here's the bottom corner the Hasbro logo and some cool Raptor artwork down here in the corner. Exclusive only at Target this set. So. If you're looking for this set, especially, uh, I haven't even heard of this set, and that's why it caught my eye. Ooh, batteries are included this time. They didn't go cheapy cheapy. Velociraptor Echo, Velociraptor Charlie, Velociraptor Blue. Looks just like the other electronic Velociraptor Blue, just not electronic. And Delta here in the corner, which looks like a pretty badass figure. All these raptors actually look fairly cool in their own right. And then you just have the Jurassic World up here in the corner. And uh, another cool thing about this set was this uh, LED light that comes here. You can see this LED light that's with the JW logo. When you shine it on these figures' backsides, it uh, lights it up. So I'm really interested to try that. And I will try my best so you guys can see what that feature looks like. Nothing on the side of the package or bottom. Pretty plain as you all kind of imagine. And here's just a close-up of the back of the box. I mean it's not really much on here. It just says all the Velociraptors names and different languages and the LED light up skin feature which is kind of cool. Almost like the Indominus Rex. Uh, strange that it's on the Raptors, but uh, I, as always, I welcome it. It's it's cool that Hasbro's trying to do some crazy stuff like that, even though some people may not agree. And I know a lot of people weren't really happy with these Raptors, being that they're all missing their toe claws. What the hell, Hasbro? Uh, someone messed up big time. Uh, 
I don't even know why that was left out, whether it was an accident or on purpose, but... Here's just a little bit... Here's just a little bit more of a close-up. Raptors. Pretty cool. Here's just a little read-up on the package. It says, Clever as ever, Jurassic World's Velociraptors, Blue, Charlie, Delta, and Echo are masterful hunters. The question is, can the fences hold them? And if not, how fast can you run? <laughs> kind of funny. So if you guys give me a second, I'll get the Raptors out of the package and we can get this review actually cracking and going. Alright, so here's the Raptor Squad out of the package, and just like before, with the Indominus Rex I already reviewed, it comes with this little info sheet for only Velociraptor Blue. Just telling you to use that on his back. I think the LED feature is only on Blue. I don't think any of the other Raptors have that feature, so... Uh, I will find out though and test it, but either way, so it comes with that piece of paper. Here's your little LED light with the Jurassic World JW. Ooh, funky. Uh, change the batteries right there. So, yeah, it's just a little circle. Nothing really crazy. I'll be taking this out in a few seconds to try the feature. But, so there's not really actually much to talk about on these figures. Uh, Poseability is extremely limited from what I've found. This is Echo with Echo's paint job. Some tan and green and a crazy open jaw that you can't shut so kind of lame I mean at least hey they painted the claws there and on the feet head can't move so like poseability on these is really uh crappy I don't think the legs move all too much or maybe mine are just broken I don't want to try to force it but and then the arms can move so yeah that's uh that's Echo. Nothing really special. I mean, it is an alright Raptor figurine. I mean, if you don't mind the no posability part, really. But Echo is pretty me. Let's take, let's take a look at Delta next. Sorry, here's Delta. Same, same thing for Delta here. The JW logo. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to shoot the JW logo on Echo right there on his leg green but here on delta he's got a probably one of the best head sculpts from all these raptors if not then i'd say charlie has the best head sculpt but uh this is a really nice head sculpt on this raptor i, I like it and the stance that it's in it's pretty neutral standing upwards painting the claws again nice nice Extremely limited posability that like the legs can't even move or at least on mine maybe it can but I don't want to force it but the legs feel like they don't move at all arms can move up and down and yeah that's that's him Delta probably one of my favorites from the Raptors from the Jurassic World line so far I mean I know it's common knowledge that a lot of people know that they don't have the toe claws and a lot of people are actually angry about that but I'm not gonna keep beating a dead horse with that everyone knows all right now we have Velociraptor Charlie this one's in a they're all in neutral poses nothing really too too insane again the only thing I guess is just no posability. It's got a cool head sculpt, which is a shame that... I don't know, it's weird. They're really cool figures, but the not being able to pose any parts kind of bring them down, but... The arms on them all move, so... JW logo on Charlie. He's got a darker stripes going down the entire figure. No toe claws. Blah, blah. But I like the head sculpt on Charlie. And his eye, his eye just looks cool. So that's Charlie. And now here's Blue, which is the only one with the what you face it, the glow feature. He's got a huge open mouth, like Echo does. It actually looks like it's the same exact figure. 
I actually think it is. These two raptors are the same exact figure, basically. Just repainted different. So, <laughs> Echo and Blue are the same. So, no toe claws, but a considerable amount of detail on Blue here, just like on all the other raptors. It's got a little bit of a white underside. Nice, nice touch by Hasbro. So far in all the Jurassic World figures, uh, I will admit I do like the eyes. However they, whatever you want to call it there, Hasbro's doing. The eyes are really cool on the Jurassic World figures. Just kind of a shame you can't shut the mouth. Alright, let's see if I can get this glow-in-the-dark feature on his back to work. So yeah, you can kind of see it lighting up. It's kind of really hard to see or come through on my camera, but you can kind of see the blue lighting up on them. None of the other figures have it, so the other figures don't really light up. As you can see, it's just only blue. You can see that slight little bit going up the entire figure. I know, I like it. Yeah, guys, uh, I guess since, like I said, I'm not going to be rating the Jurassic World figures here the same as I've been doing the other toys, uh, but I guess some of you may be wondering is, uh, do I recommend this set? Being that this is a Target exclusive and it retails at Target for $34.99, uh, the figures are cool, but I'm not sure if I could recommend it, being that that's such a high price tag for these four Velociraptor figures with very limited poseability options and action features. There's not even like jaw biting action features. Most of them you can just move the arms and that's it. And I mean, they're all missing the toe claws, which is, I guess, forgivable, but kind of takes away from it being that some of these Raptors had cool head sculpts and designs that why would they leave the toe claws out? It kind of takes away from them slightly, not a lot, but slightly. But So the question is, will you guys be picking this Target exclusive set up, or are you going to give it a pass? Because uh, maybe you, you're not really crazy for the whole light feature, which, uh, in my opinion, the light up back, that's only on blue here, and you can see on the box, the only light up feature on blue here, it's kind of a, not lame lame, but... It could have been better. So yeah, that's just my thoughts. It's an alright set. And being that I think these Raptors come sold individually. And this is basically like an exact copy of the electronic blue Velociraptor. Just without the electronic sounds or the tail action. So, yeah. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And if you're excited for Jurassic World post in the comments and let me know if you're going to be getting this set or if you're going to give it a pass. It's a pretty lackluster set, but I guess there are some cool aspects to it. But, uh, I mean, the Raptors figures are cool, but the no posability kind of kills it for me, at least anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up if you like the set or if you have it or if you're looking for it. And post in the comments and let me know what you think about this Target exclusive set. And stay tuned, there'll be more videos. I'm going to be going back to some of the old Kenner stuff from The Lost World and Jurassic Park Series 1 and these upcoming reviews on Saturday and Sunday. So until then, take care, and I'll be seeing you guys. Red Hunya signing out.